Hey everybody, Ricky here, handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania. Wednesday evening, April the 25th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at the race one opener tonight, folks. 6 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six for a long sprint on the dirt. Four year olds and upgrades for an optional claiming prize of some $40,000. Contenders number one, my Cl charming Clyde. Number six, Philly Bound. Number five, Need to Get Paid. And number three, Closing Vision. Number one, my charming Clyde comes off power run performances in each of his last four starts, hitting the board in three of those adventures, including a power run win in his second race back. Jockey Elbel Castellano and trainer Jamie Ness him to the post. They fit the board with 65% and nearly 250 entries. Saddled as a team to date. Number six, Philly Bound, a six to one shot, has produced power runs in four straight, hitting the board in a pair. Race one summary number one, Mike Charming Clyde tops the contenders list today, which also includes number six, Philly Bound, number five, Need to Get Paid, and number three, Closing Vision, 1653 in the first tonight from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race three, number five, Prairie Breeze. 4-1 to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a class drop of 4 units, comes off a power run place finish facing better company in this last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just a photograph neck at the wire in a determined attempt to break his maiden. Charlestown, race 7, the 5-1 to one shot, number 1, Sergeant Saxton, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, nice early and overall speed for this sprint at the specialized distance of Seven furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Wednesday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.